On the 23rd of April, 1984, the world learnt from Margaret Heckler, who at the time was the US Secretary of Health and Human Services, that scientists had discovered the virus that caused acquired immune deficiency syndrome or AIDS. She went on to make a very optimistic prediction that a vaccine against HIV would be available in two years. Nearly four decades later, the world is still waiting for the HIV vaccine. This is particularly striking given how scientists were able to create a vaccine for coronavirus within a year of the outbreak. The big question is why has the HIV vaccine been so elusive for such a long time? One of the main reasons why the efforts to develop an effective vaccine for HIV have been futile is because of the tremendous genetic variability of HIV. This is a virus that has an uncanny ability to mutate and change its genome every time it reproduces. As a result, each time the immune system identifies a strain of the virus and attacks it, many other mutations run free. The immune system is always hunting down these virus mutations, but will never catch up with all of them. This enormous degree of genetic diversity of HIV presents the biggest hurdle to vaccine development. Ideally, an effective HIV vaccine must provide protection against virtually any strain a vaccinated person is exposed to. But this is nearly impossible if the virus mutates rapidly. This is why it was considered a huge breakthrough when, in the 1990s, scientists came across four rare antibodies that could neutralize a broad range of HIV strains by acting against the sites on the virus which are unlikely to mutate. A lot more information about these broadly neutralizing antibodies has been unearthed over the years to the extent that some of the most promising HIV vaccine models to date involve these rare types of antibodies. Many different groups of scientists are collaborating on these antibodies and other approaches to HIV vaccine development. Although considerable progress has been made in understanding the structural and molecular biology of the virus, no HIV vaccine candidate has progressed to licensure, despite decades of very expensive research. Nonetheless, there is reason for cautious optimism that vaccine development strategies involving broadly neutralizing antibodies may lead to a groundbreaking HIV vaccine.